What a grind, Helldivers, but we've done it. The automatons have been erased from the galaxy. Maybe. We'll talk about that one in a moment. But for now, we get to enjoy the sweet, sweet taste of victory. Welcome back to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and with our collective democracy spreading might, over 360,000 of us at once, which is freaking mental, we've now crushed the automatons, bringing us to what's next and everything that could mean. I'm going to be covering it all for you today. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my future upload alerts and strap into that hell pod because it's time to dive. All right, we've got to start off with these absolutely insane player counts, which over the weekend were so freaking strong. I was diving into mission after mission over on Durgan, doing my part for managed democracy, and each time I hit the matchmake button, I was into a mission in seconds, which was entirely due to the amount of divers all hitting the major order at once. Here, just take a look at the 24-hour peak on Steam alone, showing over 345,000 players. I mean, that's sick. And it puts a huge smile on my face, just seeing how much the Helldiver community kind of gets behind the job when there's work to do. And remember, that 345,000K does not include PlayStation. I didn't grab a screenshot of it, and I'm still kicking myself on that one. And here's one I found over on Google, but... Durgan was at one point showing over 360,000 active divers all at once, and the liberation percentages were just jumping up each and every time we finished a mission. Of course, there was this collective Helldiver sigh of relief and huge high fives all around when we finally finished off the last few percentage points. And this Reddit post with over 43,000 upvotes so perfectly captures the vibe we were all kind of feeling right there at the end. It says, in one of the last automaton missions, a fellow Helldiver took this picture. He called it the last automaton which immediately earned us a notice from the official Helldivers Twitter account along with this mission accomplished propaganda poster. And it's kind of hard to see, but all around the Helldiver are bits and pieces of busted automatons that have been shredded in battle. I'm definitely going to save this one to my desktop for future reference. And that tweet alone, by the way, earned over 71,000 likes on Twitter. So this game continues to crush it for support which is damn cool to see. Next up is Game Master Joel, who over the weekend must have been sitting in just sheer disbelief as we shredded his unwinnable major order to bits, taking three planets to fully liberated in just under four days. But true to form, he was waiting with new dispatches, both for the old and the new. The automaton threat has been fully eradicated from our galaxy, our citizens are safe, our heroic fallen avenged. With the bots eradicated and bugs contained, the galaxy is free once more. The supposed threat posed by the so-called reclamation can be considered fully ended. Out of the abundance of caution, SEAF teams will continue to search what remains of the automaton facilities and servers for any additional intelligence. By the way, let me know in the comment section if you truly believe that the automatons have been completely erased. I'm not so sure myself because their return or possibly the cyborgs could lead for some massive new major order drama. I've also seen comments from fellow divers stating they felt these automaton forces were just part of a smaller recon detachment and the real body of the automaton forces were laying in wait just off the edge of the galaxy map, ready to crush Super Earth's finest when ordered to do so. Moving along over to the new, and as one major order is completed, another begins. No rest for the weary, right? Because now we are jumping to the right side of the map for a short three-planet liberation campaign along with another dispatch from Super Joel. With the automatons eradicated and terminids contained, the time has come to work towards a more prosperous future for all citizens. To that end, construction of a new, safer, and more efficient E710 farms will soon commence. On these farms, 
Terminids will be raised in spacious enclosures and enriched with state-of-the-art nutritional supplements, all under careful supervision. Clear the way for the safe construction of the E710 farms. I'm sorry, but what the F? We're now breeding and raising terminids, enhanced with supplements, aka juice? Has anyone here not seen Jurassic Park? Did we not learn any tangible knowledge from what happens when you attempt to harness Mother Nature? Oh, this has disaster written all over it. I see massive new bugs, flying chargers, two-headed bile titans, and I love it all. More bugs to kill, so I say bring it on, Joel. Hit us with your best shot. Stopping by the galaxy map, and after that last major order push to erase the bots, it looks like divers needed some much needed R&R, possibly a three to four day liberty pass, because for the most part, Hellmeyer, Crimsica, and Astanu are not seeing that massive assembly of Helldiver forces we saw over the weekend. The latest from the front is that Astanu has now been taken, Crimsica is sitting at around 60% liberated, and Hellmeyer is, well, Hellmeyer. Translation, it's just too freaking hot there and divers tend to avoid it like the plague. In fact, anytime there is some sort of environmental condition like extreme cold or blazing heat that drains stamina, you tend to see players avoiding it. I know that I almost always select a stamina booster, but if you use heavy armor and your stam bar just runs out, it's like you're stuck in a tar pit. And versus the bugs, stamina and mobility are the keys to survival. Also listed out here is today's daily order, which is to successfully extract three times from missions for 15 medals. Oh, by the way, did any of you notice that yesterday's daily was to get 100 kills with the Eagle strafing run, which I did, but then did you also receive only 13 medals for that one? Because I did. I just thought I would bring it up because it just felt weird. So at this point, we need to recap the upcoming week because... You know Helldivers, you know Joel, and you know we're going to be thrust into something epic and new somewhere in the very near future. Which brings us to Democracy Detonation, going live this coming Thursday, which I covered here on the channel last week. But in combo with this new war bond, this has to be the perfect time to drop us into a major new conflict. Whether that's the Illuminate, because... We know they are coming and have been seeing those wild blue lights for weeks now. It could also be a full-scale automaton counterattack using the main body of their forces, which were shielded from our sensors. Or it could even be something to do with Cyber Stan and the cyborgs. I'm really looking forward to any and all of these what-ifs. And by the way, I would recommend that you start saving your medals and super credits for the DD War Bond. So you can not only purchase it, but have a stockpile of medals saved up to immediately begin purchasing the items in there, like some of those badass looking new weapons. And finally, we need to talk about some much needed incoming help from Super Earth relating to the hardest boss in the entire game, Crashing. Now this one kind of flew under the radar because over the weekend we were dealing with the automaton threat, but Twinbeard did post over in the official Discord giving us a status report on this in-game plague. I just briefly want to say that we're aware of the crashes primarily surrounding extraction end of mission that currently a lot of you are facing. There's a hot fix arriving very soon that we hope will mitigate this. We should have written a post about this here sooner, but for several reasons we were under communicative this time. Sorry about that. Now, I know for many of my fellow divers, this has been and continues to be the issue with the game. I mean, we can kind of deal with delayed reward arrivals, some wonky stuff happening when it comes to server connections, but crashing out at mission end or at extraction is simply soul crushing. The sooner Arrowhead handles this issue, the more divers are going to come back to the game, which is always a big W for democracy. So, more of a short format for today. Let's call it a recap. Huge Helldivers high fives all around for everyone that participated and helped knock out that major order this past weekend. Also, keep your eyes on the skies. We know the Illuminate are out there watching and waiting. And hopefully tomorrow we get another large bug fix patch complete with something to help with crashes, which you know I will be covering. 
Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description, including an open invite link to my fast growing Helldivers Discord community, complete with an area to find a group and free voice channels so you can activate those mics and coordinate the pain. A huge thanks goes out to all of my subscribers. At this point, nearly 215,000 of you. You were all lovely, and I truly appreciate your support. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.